Oh my god! What's up guys, Blade here. And today I'm coming at you with an exciting video. So I've been on the PTR testing the Necrolord boss for Rhett. And I'll go over the boss real quick. Basically, Bakers Hammer now generates one holy power. And Fleshcraft now channels in three or let's see, yep, three seconds for 40% of your max HP. So the shield and defensive for Necrolord got buffed as well. Now I don't have the uh the renown so i don't have the uh, the conduits etc the the additional soul binds so i'm just testing the baseline with a 226 righteous might however i am loving necrolord so on the beta i really 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 wanted to go necrolord but when they removed the functionality with judgment and final reckoning on vanquisher's hammer and nerfed the conduit the damage for, from vanquisher's hammer got tuned way down now the issue with that was it no longer scaled with with either of those damage percent increases however now that we have gear we have mastery the functionality of vanquisher's hammer now becomes triggering a big secondary divine storm and what i've seen on my test results is i'm hitting about 20k crit divine storms on top of a templar's verdict so it's almost doubling your templar's verdict damage every 30 seconds it now generates a holy power, so it feels much smoother in the rotation. So let's go over the damage right now. So the talent setup that I would play with Vanquisher's Hammer is something like this, because we need the Final Reckoning for the increased damage on the Divine Storm. Uh, we need Seraphim to increase that damage even further. And yeah, those are the talents. So let's do it. The first setup I would do would be something like this. I'd Blade of Justice, Judgment, a Double Crusader Strike right here into a Seraphim Wings, Vanquisher's Hammer. Puts us perfectly at three. Final Reckoning into a big, big, big Templar's Verdict. So I'm not going to go any further with the damage rotation right there because after that it just becomes this standard, uh, you know, Wake of Ashes, then another Templar's Verdict, then a Blade of Justice, Hammer Wrath, Templar's Verdict, something like that. However, look, 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 look. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this text because, you know, it is very small. So the Righteous, uh, the Vanquisher's Hammer, dealt 5,741 damage. The Final Verdict hit for 17,500. And the Divine Storm hit for 19k, 18,988. That is absolutely massive. Attached to a 30 second cooldown. Granted, you're going to need your you know, your wings, your seraphim, your final reckoning to have it hit that hard every time. But every time that, that those cooldowns are going to be up, your Vanquisher's Hammer is going to be up, and you have an opportunity to use it once in between. So the first damage is more guaranteed than a Ringing Clarity. Uh, it is almost as high. It's pretty much as high. So you take the 19k plus the Plus the almost 6k, you know, that's about a 25k. So that's about a ringing clarity proc right there, guys. About a ringing clarity proc with a crit. Um, it feels really good to me. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I can show you a Vanquisher's Hammer Go with no wings. We'll see how that feels. All right, this will just be a standard uh, Vanquisher's Hammer with a judgment, a target. Vanquisher's Hammer, hit him with a... Uh, Bink, right there so take a look at the damage we have a divine storm hitting for 4.3k we have a final verdict hitting for 8.2k so that's roughly you know 12 12 and a half k plus the vanquisher's hammer for about 4k so in that combo right there all of them non-crit no cooldowns whatsoever roughly 16 and a half thousand damage that's big. And oh my goodness, like has this been the move all along? Like is this one holy power actually making it a big difference or you know, since the damage is no different from live, it it honestly might not make a difference. We could probably do this on live. The only thing that makes the buff to Vector's hammer 
uh, in my opinion, better now. I mean, like generating one holy power is not that big a deal, but it turns out it makes the rotation way smoother during your setup for your burst because you just need one more generator to uh, get you to that threshold to hit a, um, a Templar's Verdict after you've done your burst setup. And it turns out that Vanquisher's Hammer is that GCD because prior you need to Vanquisher's Hammer and then hit a Hammer of Wrath and then you Templar's Verdict because you're going to be at two Holy Power during your burst setup. I'll just show you again right here. So like, you know, we're setting up right, right right here, blah, 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 blah. Five Holy Power, Seraphim, Wings. You would have needed to Hammer of Wrath right here, but instead you can uh, you can Vanquisher's Hammer in that setup rotation. Vanquisher's Hammer, Final Wreck, Big Dan. I love it. It feels great. I'm probably going to go Necrolord, not even kidding. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Very exciting Red Paladin news here. Uh, I really want to try this in BGs in a Remita setting uh, rather just on a training dummy because obviously everything looks a little bit better on a training dummy, but I think this has big potential. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.